Hello, my name is Cole Beggs. I am a grade 12 student at Georgetown District High School in Georgetown, Ontario, and I will be studying history at Carleton University this September. For this video, the question I have chosen to answer is the following. When you look at Canada today, are there any problems or issues you would like to seek to help improve to build a better future for generations to come? What issue would you choose and how would you approach the problem? Well, when I, I would identify social inequality as the issue I wish to help improve. There are many ways in which Canada still has a lot of social inequality. However, the two that are the closest to me personally are invisible disabilities and the treatment of Indigenous peoples of Canada. In the modern day, people with invisible disabilities, including mental and physical issues, still struggle against dismissive attitudes from those around them due to quick judgments made based off of their appearance. Well, one way to address this is simply to help make people more aware of how invisible disabilities can be just as difficult as their more visible counterparts. Likewise, many Canadians, including some that I know, see Indigenous communities receiving public apologies, compensation for the atrocities of residential schools, and support for self-governance, and assume that that is all that is required to help heal the scars of past treatment. I believe a comprehensive study of history is required to truly understand the origins of these issues. I would approach the problem with an analysis comparing world history throughout colonialism, as well as geopolitical changes and their outcomes with the courses of action taken or not taken within Canada. Canadian Aboriginal history is severely under-recorded, as are the destructive impacts of the European influence on every aspect of Indigenous identity. A full analysis, recording, and reporting of actions and effects needs to be done before any plan for restoration and healing of the Indigenous community can be executed. As it stands, historical practices towards assimilation ultimately remain causing family separations and a brain drain in Indigenous communities. I believe a better future can be achieved when there is a res restoration of Indigenous community family identity and a full acceptance of Indigenous uh, identity throughout Canada. Thank you for listening.